And look at the little red dot below it. There's a little red dot. You see the red dot below it on the bottom? Trina looks like she's gonna have some shrimp. Yep, I am. Got some shrimp. Got some shrimp. Are you sharing that shrimp? We took a chance on coming here in this part of the country this time of year. That is crazy. Oh my God. Well, as the traffic goes by, as fate would have it, we are still not ready to hit the road for Alaska. We're still going, but we have to have some more things done to the RV. So in the meantime, we are getting ready and we're running late. We were going to leave a couple days ago. We're headed out to Illinois for a camp, to a campground to meet some friends to watch the eclipse so we're scrambling around trying to get some things together just the bare necessities so that we go there spend a week there and come on back to maryland for about another week to get some more work done to the rv unfortunately it's a scheduling problem but but it's all said and done it'll be worth it we'll be good to go and then we'll work our way out to idaho to see casey and from there to montana so we're just getting some things ready and maybe we'll leave tonight. We're not big fans of driving at night, but since it's the smaller rig and both of us can drive, we just may go ahead and do it. But we'll decide whether we leave tonight or tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. I want to let you know about the sponsor of this week's video, Waggle Pet Monitoring System. As you guys know, we travel with a Tucker and we have a dog and we love him to death. When you travel with your pets, you want to see to it that they are safe and secure when you're out of the RV. Well, one of the best ways to do that is with the Waggle Pet Monitoring System. How does it work? Very simple. What you're going to do is when you get this device, you're going to set up the parameters for the heat, the humidity, and the power. And what you'll do is you'll set your high and your low for the temperature and the humidity. Now, when you go out and you hike or you explore, if for any reason the temperature and humidity in your RV exceeds or drops below those parameters or you lose power to your RV, this will notify you through a text or an email. It gives you peace of mind knowing that your pet is safe and secure. This is a great way to monitor your RV when you're out. And let's ask Tucker and see what he thinks. Oh, I love Waggle Pet Monitoring System. It makes me feel safe and secure while mom and dad are out running around, leaving me alone all by myself. How dare they? But I have peace of mind knowing I'm okay. Waggle Pet Monitoring System is Tucker approved. Thank you, Waggle for giving me peace of mind. So if you guys are interested in your Waggle pet monitoring system, be sure to check out the link below. Type in OEG55 for your opportunity to save 55% off of your purchase. We would like to thank Waggle for sponsoring this video. We now return you to your regularly scheduled video. Thanks guys. All right. Whew. I think we got everything. Okay. Oh, I gotta turn off the generator, I forgot. Okay. Just need to check one thing. I think we're ready, we're gonna find out. Getting ready to get a roll out. Tucker's back there, I think he's ready to go. Anyway, uh, we're running late. We wait. How long? What's late? Late is like that couple days. By a few days, yeah. Once again, the, yeah. our plans have changed and altered. And we ran into problems, and they didn't get taken care of until this morning, after a little over a week. 
and, and it was something it always, and that's how it always works you know that yeah and it was something simple right. you know as it usually is but anyway so now we're rolling out we got a 13 14 hour drive we're going to go watch the eclipse hopefully if the weather holds up which is supposed to yeah and then we come back to maryland for probably about another week because yes because we need to finish up some things that we did not get done because the rv was being serviced right so we're going to hightail it out to illinois hang out a few days with sean and leanne watch the eclipse yes. turn around come back to maryland finish up the upgrades and then head out to idaho to see casey so let's roll out we're running we're running behind and i'm driving So after a late start today, we found a Cracker Barrel, plenty of room, Frankfort, Kentucky. Frankfort, right, out of right outside of Lexington. Plenty of room here to park, and we're gonna set up for the night, and then we should roll out in the morning. Still got about a three hour drive. Trina looks like she's gonna have some shrimp. Yep, I am. Got some shrimp, got some shrimp. Are you sharing that shrimp? I want some, yes. You can have some. Share it. Yep. Tucker's set up. And uh, we will call it a night. Good to go this morning here at the Cracker Barrel. Where are we in? I think it's Frankfurt. I think it's I mean, uh, not that far from Lexington. I'm not sure what town it is though. There was no one here last night. No. It was. This is a huge parking lot. Although they don't have any reserved or marked RV bus spots. Right. But there's still plenty of parking. Plenty of parking over on the side near the grass, which is oh. what I, we prefer, Tiny. especially when we have the uh, Class A. So we got about a four hour drive this morning. How'd you sleep last night? No? I slept fine. Um, I was a little uncomfortable. Yeah. And then I got really hot. Turn so. left on I-64 West. I'm trying to calm yourself. I wasn't in the mood, okay? Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, we just got set up here at the little grassy campground and marina in Maconda, Illinois. We're here for the eclipse. We decided to pull the RV in instead of backing in because I'll show you here in a minute. It's a better view. So we got everything set up. Katrina's boiling some eggs over here for dinner, later for dinner. But uh, let I'm me boiled eggs. What's that? We're having boiled eggs. I guess we're having boiled eggs for dinner. This is a poor man dinner. Yeah. We're having salad and I'm putting them in the salad. 
Is that what it is? Yes, we're having more than eggs. Oh, we're having a salad. Oh, okay. We're having a salad. What else are you having besides? Salad. We're very healthy. That's it? Well, okay. That's not much of an improvement over eggs, but okay. Okay. All right. And this is our view right out here. We got the marina out there. It's windy out here, guys. I'm sorry. But it's a beautiful day. We had to, I had to change because when we woke up this morning, it was cold. Now it's 70. We are in site 14B. I'll show you the site. There we go. And we decided to go ahead and pull in instead of back in. These are partial hookups. So we're sharing a pedestal over there and the water. This was better to pull in to give us a really nice view. Sean and Leanne, our friends, are right over there in site 13A. Nice spot. And of course, you know them, you love them, Tucker. Tucker, does this campground meet your approval? Well, so far it's looking pretty good. I'll get back to you and let you know later. Please stay tuned for Tucker's review. How are you doing? I'm good. I want to hang outside and relax. It's absolutely good. We have, haven't had a nice day for so long. Yeah. It's beautiful. It was a long drive. Yeah. It's about a 14 hour drive. And we're just going to chill out now and relax and then get prepared for the eclipse tomorrow and kind of enjoy this nice view out here. The next day. Well, good afternoon, Getaway Nation. We are getting ready. It's a beautiful day here on Total Eclipse Day in Maconda, Illinois. It's fantastic here. The weather is beautiful. We're just a, an hour or two away from the eclipse we're really excited this is a i love this campground i love the vibe and, and the feel of this campground it is not a state park but it has that feel and vibe of a state county city park love it we took a chance on coming here in this part of the country this time of year we had quite a few friends tell us that when we mentioned to them we were going to come here to watch the eclipse thanks to our friend sean and leanne they said, you know, you might have to deal with some weather, some cold, snowy weather. And man, it's like 77 sunny, fun, loving degrees. It's great. And we can't wait to uh, enjoy these, this uh, once in a lifetime experience with the eclipse. We're gonna share that with you guys, show you from our perspective what it's like. And once again, it just gets back to enjoying life, embracing life and taking chances and taking risk and going out there and making things happen. Don't wait for those things to come to you. Go get them, go seize them. I remember watching YouTube channels the last time, I think it was in 2017, and I would watch these channels and I thought to myself, man, that would be such a great experience to be able to witness that in person. And now I, here we are, what's it, seven years later? and we're getting the chance to do the same thing. It's amazing, it's fantastic. So we're gonna share that with you, Getaway Nation, and hopefully, just shortly, it's gonna be phenomenal. So we're gonna go over here to the viewing area and uh, hang out, and we're gonna check this out and enjoy this momentous occasion. event. Occasion, yes. Yeah, these people have the Eclipse shirts on. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. I like the Eclipse shirt. I do not have an Eclipse shirt on. No, you don't. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe next time. Well, no, there will be no next There'll time. Be no will next time. I don't think so. Uh, hey, Jeff. What? Is that okay? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. So here we are, set up on the side of a hill. Got the drone. You got it? There. Yes, sir. Sweet. Yeah. So it's already started. This is how uninformed I am. I didn't realize that it, the process has already started because I'm thinking it's got to get dark in order for But so I put the glasses on, looked up and it's already started. Katrina's over there taking pictures, hopefully, right? She's got everything. So I didn't realize that it's still sunny. It's beautiful. I'm in my mind. I'm thinking shape, but I put these on. I looked up. Oh my goodness. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I got my glasses on. Oh my gosh. You can see it. It's like amazing. Just amazing. Okay. All right. So here we go. It's getting there, guys. This is great. 
take your glasses yeah. off and watch this. Yeah, I guess you can. What's Whoa! Yo! This is amazing. Yes! Look! What's over there? To the right. That's Jupiter. That's Jupiter. Woo! Look at that! Woo! There it is. That is crazy. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. This. If everything is okay on the dark side of the moon, play the five tones. Look, this is how dark it is. This is amazing. Look at that. There's Jupiter, if you can see it. And look at the little red dot below it. There's a little red dot. You see the red dot below it? On the bottom? What is that little teeny red dot on the bottom? I know. That's, you see it? That's, what is it? It's called Bailey's B. Bailey's B. That's Bailey's B? I don't know what Bailey's B is, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> it is phenomenal. Oh, hey, there's the, there's the Delta plane. Right, there's the plane. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Whoa. You, you talk. What a moment. What a moment. Look, guys, it is dark out like at night. I never expected. I never expected this. Never. Not like this. Wow. Let's wait to see. Look, it's starting to light up. Look, there it is. There it is. Woo! And there it is. Look at that. That is phenomenal. So just like that, we are back. Woo! That was phenomenal. I'm so thankful for that experience. So, so thankful. I would go so far as to say that if they ever had a total eclipse in another part of the world and you could travel and experience it, it would be worth it. I just said, look, I mean, guys, if they're going to have a total eclipse in another part of the world and you could travel there to see it, would you do it? I would do it. I would recommend doing it. It is that amazing. Don't wait for the next one to happen in America. If you have the ability to travel in another part of the country to experience this, that was amazing. That was. It was pretty cool. That's That was something that I'll remember forever. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. He didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. All right. Good afternoon, Getaway Nation. Yeah. Well. We're, getting, we're rolling out of the uh, little grassy campground in Marina. It's uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. The day after, which was a phenomenal. Epic. A, 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 yes. It was awesome. We're, I am so glad we did that, don't you? Yeah, I really it, am. It was definitely well, worth it. And uh, it's one of those things I will always remember. Maybe I we'll agree. get to do it again someday down the road. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and if the opportunity presents itself, we would do it. But it's got to be 100% totality. Yeah, we were we were here with friends of ours and Sean and Leanne, which was super super wonderful, and they were they had one what they and were their the daughter one, and son in law they, yeah, and uh, they were they had one in Nash they're from Nashville and they were watching one what was it seven years ago the it other clips been, been and it wasn't quite a hundred percent and they said this was night and day yeah. well, we're gonna leave early we were going to go from here over to a state park with Sean and Leanne for a couple days but the weather is not cooperating so there's no sense in staying here when we need to get back to Maryland we got a ton of stuff to do so we're headed back to Maryland we're gonna drive straight through maybe yeah see how it goes so we got a lot of stuff to do and some more stuff to do with the RV and all of this stuff was unexpected right we just didn't get things finished that we ended up wanting to do last minute so because of that 
we decided we still wanted to go see the eclipse. It was like a 13 hour ride. And it was worth it. It's a good yeah. thing we did that. Yeah. It really is. And now we'll just, we'll go back to Maryland. Uh, as far as the fuel cost, it wasn't that bad because we're in the gasser. So that was good. That was a savings. And um, like I said, we'll go back for um, maybe a week, a week, 10 days at the most. And then we're right back and on the road. And then we are on the road. And then we're definitely headed out. Now, if you guys, you know, you watch the video, you'll notice early it, what I was watching the eclipse. I didn't have my glasses on. That was only during the total uh, totality of it. You could, because if you put your glasses on, you really couldn't see it. Nope. So you took your glasses off, and this is something that people don't tell you. You could take your glasses off and look at the totality of it, and then for a few seconds, you're going to be fine. You have to in order to, and it's even more impactful with the glasses off at, at the to totality, not during the course of it now. So don't confuse the two. So if you see me without glasses looking, that's why. And wow. everyone there pretty much agreed. I can't believe you didn't put glasses on. Well, I did. I did as it was happening. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we're really thankful, and uh, it was another a, blessing. Yeah, another, another blessing. Uh, awesome event, yeah. and it's a benefit of being a full-time RV travelers. And that's true. You know, that's true because we can get up and go as we please. So we had plans to stay in the area for another state park, a different yeah, state. I that this is not a state park, guys. Yeah. So. All right, guys. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please uh, give us a thumbs street. up. Right. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, if you've ever witnessed a total eclipse, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment down below, one way or the other. We really or appreciate did it. Did you guys were you able to see the full eclipse this year? Yeah. Did you have clouds? Or did you travel like somewhere far away and then were disappointed, turn or right did it turn, road. or did it turn out wonderfully and you had a great experience? Let us know. All right. There you have it. Remember, guys, any day you can get away. It's a great day. Take care. See and we will see you.